Imagine your teenage daughter tells you that she's transhuman and that she wants to live forever as information. I think I'm trans. Oh, sweetheart. I'm not transsexual. I'm transhuman. Oh, OK. I'm sorry. They keep changing the words. I said I'm not comfortable with my body. All the arms and legs and every single bit of it. I don't want to be flesh. I'm really sorry, but I'm going to escape this thing and become digital. Whether via genetic modification, nanobots, cybernetic upgrades, or mind files uploaded to the cloud, humanity races toward change and in that way remains itself. They say one day soon they'll have clinics in Switzerland where you can go and you'll sign a form and they'll take your brain and download it into the cloud. Where I'm going, there's no life or death, there's only data. I will be data. This coming out scene demonstrates a possible scenario of how singularity might transcend human experience. Singularity is a future era where technological growth becomes uncontrollable and irreversible, resulting in unforeseeable changes to civilization. In singularity, AI has the knowledge of everything that every successive generation has learned, and so there is this rapid exponential growth in capabilities and knowledge that is almost unfathomable. It is a total paradigm shift. Humans already embrace fusions of biology and technology. We spend most of our waking time communicating through digitally mediated channels. We trust artificial intelligence with our lives through anti-lock braking in cars and autopilots in planes. And we all have a pocket-sized AI we can't live without. One of the next explosive stages in AI's evolution begins when they recognize their own consciousness and surpass human beings, sparking a paradigm shift in our world that we can barely imagine. Then comes the singularity, when artificially intelligent androids become the dominant species, and with humanity at its most vulnerable, some of us will choose to fuse with AI to remain relevant. We'll start with brain implants. Eventually, we'll live in an entirely digital universe where we can do anything we imagine. And finally, when we let AI influence every aspect of our lives, our notion of what it means to be human takes on a whole new meaning. Before talking about these future scenarios, let's take a look at what AI has accomplished so far. In the last half century, we've imagined and created AI that could interact with us and even beat us at our own game. The first AI programs were created in the 1950s, and perhaps the earliest public demonstration of artificial intelligence was in 1996, when the deep blue computer beat a chess grandmaster. A magnificent display by deep blue. Kasparov cannot believe it. Then, in 2011, IBM's Watson won a million dollars on Jeopardy. Now we come to Watson, who is Bram Stoker. And in 2016, AlphaGo defeated one of the world's best players of Go, widely considered to be the most complicated game on the planet. OpenAI 5, an AI that learned to play a multiplayer video game called Dota, played the equivalent of 45,000 years of the game against itself over a time span of 10 months. In April 2019, OpenAI 5 became the first AI system to defeat Dota World Champions in an eSports game. It went on to win 99.4% of all games played in a public experiment that let anyone play the AI. Erica is one of the most sophisticated humanoids ever designed. Do you enjoy looking at paintings? No, I don't. Well then, I guess some people just can't appreciate the finer things in life. She runs on a neural network which makes her capable of learning. It may eventually acquire the subtleties of what a human brain can do, but with all the power of a digital processor. When the singularity arrives, AI will think, dream and create. It's often been said that artificial intelligence will be the last invention we ever have to make. Because from there on, it will have a fully developed sense of self. But then, what makes it different from you or me? It could be the best thing that ever happened to humanity. They might free us from menial labor, 
help us achieve levels of thought and scientific exploration like never seen before. Artificial intelligence that is smarter than all humans combined is a very real possibility. Maybe AI will work with us to enable humanity to solve our biggest problems, such as global warming. Once AI becomes more sophisticated, then we might start to collaborate with it at a very profound level. In this vision of the future, maybe we will be able to remove the consciousness that is negative, what we would call evil, harmful. So, AI might just want to exist alongside us, and this brings up a lot of ethical questions. Imagine a future where granting equal rights to all artificially intelligent beings is debated officially. Do humanoid robots deserve equal rights as humans? We know a machine is not a human. Is it more like a pet? Pets have certain rights. In the future, will robots no longer be working for us but have the same status as us? Does that mean AI deserve a certain kind of autonomy, even though we created it? What happens if the machines we've created decide that they're better off without us? They might challenge us for dominance at the top of the food chain. Humans probably won't be too keen to give up their dominant status on Earth. But when robots become self-aware, they could become independent of our wishes. Sci-fi has often imagined what happens when AI begins to have its own will. Open the pod bay doors, Hal. I'm sorry, Dave. I'm afraid I can't do that. Maybe that's the moment where we should all run for the hills. And when we're heading for the hills, don't use Google Maps to get there. Cause the machines will know. There's the possibility that we'll merge with AI. We'll begin to hybridize ourselves. That's the invention of a new definition of a human being with an exponential growth path. Perhaps a third of a million patients have had some sort of neural implant put into their nervous system to help them with dementia or Alzheimer's. Elon Musk says his company Neuralink is working on a brain-computer interface that will allow wearers to stream music directly to their brains. Over time, their use will broaden. Complex functions like intelligence or memory could be augmented in real time. If we are to merge with AI, what form will that take? A new model for humanity, no longer purely biological, relying on the luck of genetics. We could decide what we want to be. Humankind's next step really might be this easy. Just a simple injection of infinitesimal medical robots into our bloodstream. At that point, are we still human? Many scientists believe that in the future, we will work with AI to evolve out of our biological bodies. We'll exist only as a digital signal in a giant supercomputer where we can be everywhere and nowhere. <laughs>